We wish to consider the solutions of the following polynomial equation. x to the sixth minus x to the fifth plus x to the fourth minus x cubed plus x squared minus x equals zero. Since this is a sixth degree polynomial equation, there will be six solutions to this equation. However, we don't know whether they're all real numbers, imaginary numbers, or a combination of real and imaginary solutions. It is obvious that we can factor out the x term from this equation, so let's do that. So immediately, we see one solution of this equation, which is an obvious one, is x equals zero. Why? Because we have the product of two terms equaling zero, and we can invoke something called the zero principle, meaning if we have two or more terms, the product of two or more terms equaling zero, then at least one of the terms must be zero. So we immediately get one solution to this equation, x equal zero. Now let's consider the remaining equation, the, the, the equation that's inside the bracket. Let's factor this once again. And I'm going to factor it the following way. So you see, I factored out the terms inside the bracket as follows. Now, factoring it this way, we see we have another factor of this polynomial, and the factor is x minus 1. So let's factor this piece. Once again, we have the product of two terms equaling zero. So at least one of the terms, if not both, must be equal to zero. And in this case, it is obvious to, we'll set each of the terms equal to zero. And we get x minus one equals zero. And x to the fourth plus x squared plus one equals zero. Now let's look at each of these two terms x minus 1 equals 0, we have x equal 1 equals 0. So that's the second solution. So at this point, we have two solutions, two real solutions to this equation, x equal 0, I have that checked, x equal 1, we have that, I have that checked. Now, let's look at the remaining term. That's x to the fourth plus x squared plus 1 equals 0. Now we're going to use a little bit of logic. Whether the, the solution to this is positive or negative, since the exponent is 4 and the exponent here is 2, if x is negative, the x to the fourth term will be positive. The x squared term will be positive. So we have two positive numbers plus 1 equals 0. So therefore, there are no more real solutions to this equation. The remaining four solutions to this equation are all imaginary. In other words, involving the square root of minus one.